Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing a brand new release product from Dyne Audio. The Dyne Audio Music 7 soundbar music player speaker system. This really, really well thought out, really well implemented product from Dyne Audio is perhaps a departure from Dyne Audio's classic stereo speakers, but it's so good that I'm so proud to share this with you today. Okay, Dyne Audio music series. Uh, they're all designed with certain sort of things in mind. They're little portable, uh, battery operated music one, Beautiful style, nice lightweight, great battery life. The three perhaps designed for a larger space. The five and the seven are designed to perhaps integrate with a television and not be just a sound product for music and streaming, which they're very good at, but also perhaps to sit with a television and ensure that you get an opportunity to vastly improve the speakers that are on these very skinny TVs nowadays. There's a certain style of these products and you're going to get an opportunity to see that and they nestle in beautifully into most living spaces. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look. The packaging is very muted. This is a freight box. Okay, it's kind of boring. Um, it's got a bit of information about all of the things that we have and on one end a scanner, a scan code for um, the, the model and serial number information. Like all freight boxes, um, opening them is very, very straightforward. They're simply sellotaped closed. Um, lifting it and cutting it is very, very easy. I always like to sort of nick it and then uh, pull just in case. We see inside the first look at the retail friendly packaging that we have, and that's pretty straightforward to lift it out. I'm going to fold this, um, this bag and lift it from the handle. Now this is a weighty product, but to be honest, let's do it the easy way. If anything's heavy, take the box and lift it off the product. Don't break your back lifting a heavy product out of the box. Get rid of this. We start to have a look at this awesome product for the first time. Now it's big, I make no apologies for its size. This is the largest in its range. One, two, three, sorry, one, three, five, and seven. This being the biggest one. The retail friendly packaging is excellent and eye catching, but it's worth noting the photograph on the front does not delineate the colour of the product in the side. This is their little red one. Um, we've got a tag here in telling you what the actual colour is. So this is in dark grey. This is across one end, you see it on both angles, and it's emulated across the top as well. So if you're out shopping for one of these, and you should buy one. Make sure that uh, you check out the colour. Don't just grab the red one thinking it's red. Okay. On the top we've got some basic information about the product and uh, some symbols delineating some of the features that the product has, including wireless, uh, Bluetooth, all of those types of things. Worth noting the app uh, control is probably the wisest thing I can recommend that you do. Download it, give it a whirl. It's an excellent way of controlling this product and getting the most out of it. Long one end again, the colour option. And a bit of information about the common features across all of the products and an implication of the size differences between the four and the range. At the back, we get to see one of these computer generated sort of stylized images of the product with the grill on sort of fading to being off. This is where we get a clear understanding of the speakers that are actually on board. Uh, it's got a tweeter and mid-range driver to each side, giving you the effect of stereo. And then centrally, two big bass drivers. This product goes loud. Well, really loud for its size, and probably will outperform every other soundbar on the market. Its style and curves, which we'll see, and please hang around for some of the photographs, help to mask some of the depth required to get these excellent drivers to perform well. Uh, looking at the other end, basic information, a little reminder about its title subscription that it comes with, and some other things along the fact you can download the uh, Control app from, obviously, uh, the Android or iOS uh, Apple stores. Okay. Now, opening this is really, really straightforward. It's got a couple of little factory seals here, one here and one there, near these uh, cardboard tabs. Okay. Opening up that first flap, is very straightforward and reveals a beautiful stylized photograph reminding you to download the app. 
The carry handle is of good quality and it's reinforced with a big piece of plastic to ensure that it's not going to pull out as you carry this down the street. Drilling into it, we'll see the first thing from an accessory perspective is the multinational power cord. Now, we have no use for that in New Zealand, so guess what? Get rid of it. Underneath a little piece of protective cardboard is the unit's manual and basic information about its setup and operation. If you want to see inside this, check out the Music One unboxing video. You'll see some photographs uh, and you will see me un un unbox it. The, um, the accessories themselves is very well appointed for a product like this. The New Zealand figure eight power cord, obviously an essential. We've got some AAA batteries for the remote control and then of course the remote itself. Now, uh, hang around for the photos, we'll take a close-up of this. This is a sort of an aluminium remote, it's quite well built. Plastic back, steel front, uh, uses um, great battery life, not many buttons on it, but again, hang around and have a look. We've got a 3.5mm stereo cable, now that's because this product has an alternative input. And like the Music 5, because this is perhaps designed to go with a television, we see the use of a fibre optic cable to give you the audio return channel out of your TV or other devices easily utilised. Okay. Now, the next set of packaging is formed perfectly to support and protect the sound bar or the music system inside. And other than a big desiccant bag, there's not a lot left inside. Now, taking this out is really straightforward, although it is heavy. That box, we start to have a look at the scale and size of this product for the first time. Opening it, we see that this is in Dyn Audio's dark grey finish. And getting rid of Dyn Audio's classic speaker bag, we get to see the scale and size of this product for the first time. Looking at it, it is beautiful. We've got a lovely Dyn Audio logo appointed at the front, and it masks the depth of this product with a few little lines and curves, which make the style very unique. This is extremely striking in some of the colours like blue, as well as even red. And, and please, be a little bit adventurous with the colour. This thing is excellent and will you know, brighten up a room that is otherwise perhaps dull. The operation is across the main buttons across the top. And again, hang around for some uh, photographs of this product where we'll see some close-ups. The control is, is uh, volume at one side with uh, the volume delineated with some LEDs across the top. You've got five uh, preset and input selections, uh, most easily set up via the app, and please do. It makes the operation of this so simple so that you can most immediately start playing your favourite music or title tracks. There's an input button allowing you to select and so on. Over this side we've got skip back, play pause and skip forward. This is a, an extruded aluminium front, sorry top, and it's kind of cold to the touch. It's uh, beautiful as far as its design and style. You can see it's not very deep and it masks again the depth required for the uh, main bass drivers. At the rear you see a very large port. This is designed to allow the main bass drivers to breathe and do their job properly and rocking it forward you'll see the inputs and outputs you'll require to make this thing work efficiently. It has a, a figure eight input for the power an optical digital input, and then this is the first that has an HDMI. Designed, of course, to take the audio from any number of devices or even just the audio return channel out of the television. Rather than a, an optical, you could use an HDMI if required. It's got an excellent rubberized foot and two pre-tapped sort of screws for any wall mounting or shelf mounting if required. Okay, so this beautiful uh, soundbar music system from Dyne Audio, the largest in the range, Dyne Audio's brand new Music 7 soundbar and music system, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>